Hello, welcome to my easy statistics. Please like, share and subscribe the channel. Contact me for data analysis and training. You can contact me through email or WhatsApp. How to do dummy coding for categorical independent variables. When we are doing a regression analysis and in case if we have the independent variable as a categorical variable. For example, you see this example where we have weight loss. Weight loss is a dependent variable and exercise is an independent variable. We want to find what is the impact of exercise on the weight loss and see exercise is a categorical variable. When we have this situation, we must not directly do the regression analysis with exercise as an independent variable. In turn, we need to convert these categorical variables into dummy coding. Now, in this uh, case, we are going to see how we are going to create this uh, dummy codings. First, you must see the independent variable which is categorical. In this case, it is exercise and exercise is having four groups. We can see here swimming, running, cycling and aerobics. When we have four categories are there in the independent variable which is categorical, we need to create three dummy codings. It means four minus one. So if you have five categories, you must create four dummy. Okay. If you have two categorical, it must get one dummy. So it is always number of categorical groups minus one. In this case, we have four categorical variables. So four minus one, three. We need to create three dummy codings. Now the logic is like this. Among the four categorical data, like swimming, running, cycling, aerobics. One category need to be selected as a referential group. In this case, you can see the red color I have highlighted. Running is taken as a reference group. So for the remaining three categories, we are going to create the dummy coding. If you see, I have created D1, D2, D3. Three dummy variables will be created d1 is a dummy coding for swimming d2 is a dummy coding for the cycling d3 is a dummy coding for the aerobics now if you observe the running is called referential group which is taken zeros in all the dummy variables for d1 d2 d3 in every place we are going to keep zeros but swimming, if you see D1 is a dummy coding for swimming, it should be given as a 1 and all remaining will be 0. D2 is a dummy coding for cycling. So it only gets 1. When you code it, for cycling you must give 1. For the remaining all other categories you must give 0. For D3, for aerobic you must give 1. For the remaining all you must give as a 0. Now see this file where we have weight loss is a dependent, exercise is a independent and this exercise is now converted into three dummy variables D1, D2, D3. Now if you see D1 is for swimming, now you can see for wherever we have one is swimming we have kept as one, for remaining we have kept as zero. Now, dummy coding, also known as a reference categorical coding, is a method to represent categorical variable with more than two levels in statistical analysis. Dummy coding involves creating binary, that is 0 or 1 indicator variables to represent the different levels of categorical variables. One of the level is chosen as a referential category. I already said in our case, you have taken running as a reference category, which will be coded as zero and the other will be coded as indicator variable indicator variable d1 for swimming so the d1 the swimming is called indicator variable for which we are going to give one or created for each other level indicating whether they are present or not now what we'll do is i'll take the case i'll do the analysis and we will discuss the results 
this is a spaces file where I have shown you D1 is for swimming, D2 for is uh, the other category and D3, D3 is for aerobics. Now let us start the analysis. If you want to see the variable view, you can see for D1 is for swimming, D2 is for cycling and D3 is for aerobics dummy coding and I will just scroll down and I will show you. D1 we have given 1, for all remaining we have given zeros. For D2 where you have 2, we have given as 0. Okay, uh, see here you have given as 1, okay, 3 and 4 we have given here as 1. So, this is how we must first give the dummy coding for the variables. Now, we will do the regression analysis. Analyze regression in this linear. Take weight loss in kilograms as dependent variable and take the three d1 d2 d3 as independent variable and click ok now this is the output variable now important thing is you can see the model summary r square is 0 0.369 ANOVA it is significant and important is we will discuss this coefficient values now if you see this coefficient value the first one is constant weight loss mean value of running group the constant term 9.593 represent the estimated mean weight loss when other predictors are zero means if swim, swimming cycling aerobic if all these are zero then the constant how much weight they are going to do is 9.593 for swimming the coefficient of swimming is minus 3.523 indicates that compared to running individuals who engage in swimming on average experience a decrease in weight loss a loss of approximately 3.523 kilograms means compared to running people who are doing swimming are losing weight less so there is a decrease in the weight loss how much decrease it is 3.5 to 3 so t value is minus 3.712 is statistically significant if you see the p value p value is less than 0 0.05 so it is significant coming to the next one cycling cycling is uh, uh, the coefficient is 0.145 suggests that compared to running individuals who engage in cycling on average experience a slightly increase in weight loss of approximately 0.145 kilograms here also it is significant no it is the significant value is 0.887 which is more than 0.05 so it is not significant <clears throat> so this value cycling to running there is no significant difference coming to aerobics aerobics the coefficient value and standardized coefficient value is minus 3.029 indicates that compared to running individuals who engage in aerobics on average experience a decrease in weight loss of approximately 3.029 means compared to running people are doing aerobics are losing weight less this is significant because significant value is 0 0.002 now we will discuss how we got these values when we take weight loss mean value for swimming group for running group for cycling group and for aerobic group we got these values i'll show you in spaces how we are going to get the mean weight loss for each group for getting the mean weight loss you must go to data in this you must say split file in this split file organize output by group take exercise group now click ok now after that go to analyze descriptives in descriptive you take the values of weight loss click ok now we will be getting the mean weight loss for each group you can see for swimming the mean value is 6.0700 and for running 9.5929 for cycling it is 9.7375 
uh, for aerobics it is 6.5636 the same values i am copying into the slide now these are the mean values now you can see that the mean weight loss of a running group is 9.593 what is value this is nothing but the constant value you can see 9.593 now if you see what is the value for swimming it is minus 3.523 how we got this value this is the difference between swimming to running so swimming 6.070 minus 9.593 we got minus 3.523 now if you see the next one cycling it is a difference between running and cycling running is 9.593 minus cycling is 9.738 so the result is 0.145 and the next aerobics we got the how much value we got here minus 3.029 this is a difference between running to aerobics you can see running is how much we got 9.593 and aerobics is 6.593 so 6.593 minus 9.593 is minus now if you see the weight loss for each group people when they are swimming the weight loss is 6.07 when they are running it is 9.593 kg cycling 9.738 kg aerobics 6.53 uh, 563 kgs now if you understand uh, there is more weight loss when they are cycling and uh, next followed by running next by aerobics next by swimming but when we are doing dummy coding we are comparing from the referential group to the indicator group d1 is a swimming so compared to running to swimming there is a less weight loss and d2 is for running to cycling there is a increase in weight loss but that is not significant coming to the d3 compared to running to aerobics there is again decrease in the weight loss because cycling is 9.593 whereas aerobic 6.563 aerobic is 6.563 so this is how we must do dummy coding when we have categorical variable as a independent variable in the regression analysis mm -hmm.